Hello, my name is Aurelia Vell, and welcome to the second writer's log. For this, I'm just giving a quick update, I suppose, as you can watch me work here on screen. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I promised you guys it would be a few months before something came out, and it has been, though there has not been much work to really speak of, but uh, here we are. I did finally manage to sit down and spend some time really thinking about what I wanted to put out there into the world on my website. And um, for the most part, there were a few little bits that I have decided on for sure and other bits that I had not decided on. And I have avoided doing a logo for... <laughs> quite a long time, but uh, this time I kind of figured maybe I'll just try something out, something with all of my favorite fonts, try to hand letter something that would work better uh, for me. So um, pretty much I used my four favorite fonts <laughs> that are more or less gothic. So I picked Old English, um, Exocet, I believe is how that's pronounced, uh, Testimonos, and Ring Bearer. Ring Bearer is the one that I've mostly used in any of my previous writings where I did need a logo and to put my story on it with some kind of picture just to be like, here's my, my story, blah, 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 blah. And it was a quick and easy version. So I do really, really like Ring Bearer, but I did want, again, something a little bit more gothic in the sense that I wanted it to be um, not really, like, angular spiky, but I don't know. Gothic seems a little angular spiky if you think about it. So I have a bunch of examples of either fonts or uh, different types of lettering that seemed to really, really be nice. So um, another thing that kind of contributed to this, I will say, um, is that Cosmic Spectrum Art did her own logo and made a video about it, and that is Gloaming Veil. So um, one of the problems she ran into is that it's a very long name. Luckily for me, Arion is quite short. And um, I did have a conversation with a few people on stream one day about it, and we really kind of, as a group, decided that it was best to keep something really short, something memorable. Um, there were different times where I thought about even changing the name, but um, for the most part, uh, I guess it was better to kind of keep that context of here's the main logo, here's the main name, but for some, like, subtext, I suppose, um, there are, <laughs> how would I put it, like, different, um, eras in my story, and there are all kinds of different things about it to think about, and I'm also trying to think forward enough to, um, eventually printing. Uh, I don't think it'll be anything crazy. It'll probably just be some itty-bitty Kickstarters with soft covers and, um, Something that I saw somebody else do, uh, who had very long chapters for her manga, she did three chapters per volume of her book. So every book she made, and she made about six, had three chapters, which is crazy. Um, but it seemed like an, an actually a good choice, because I'm like, you know, yeah, if there are going to be as I have counted, almost 50 chapters in my story already, I'm like, ooh, ooh. And I don't know, some are kind of short, some are kind of very long, so I'm still trying to find where it is best to separate and cut things up a little bit. But uh, other than that, um, yeah, it's just kind of an overall thought about how this is going to go. So even sitting and doing my... Uh, well, what you see on screen, doing my logo, I was thinking about how I wanted to best represent the story because, again, there are different variations, different bits. I want to be able to add it, say, like, Arion or Arion Destiny Calls or 
Arion, Legends of Arion, whatever. Um, and there are various parts of the story where you're kind of going into different areas, things like that. I wanted the nature of the story to pretty much reflect in the logo, essentially. So I still need to, I still need a basic first cover logo, but other than that, um, like, cause I did want to do like Arion and for most, for the most part, everybody knows that there are dragons in my story. Woo. I know I'm so original. Um, but yeah, like when we're, when we're confronting some of the dragons, things like that, it'd be nice to have like Arion, but on the, on the outsides of the E and the N have like dragon wings. But uh, again, so original, I know. Not like I'd be the first person to do that, but <laughs> just the idea of being able to do that or say when we're in there with the elves, I can have like these, these thorny vines write the word Arion. Like, um, it's, it is a graphic novel and one of my friends is currently writing a graphic novel of her own because <laughs> I pushed her into it. So now she's pushing me to do my my stuff. So that's one of the reasons why this is actually coming out. You can thank her. Um, you can all thank Elu, Iluviana, who I stream with quite regularly. She's one of the best people I've ever met. Um, but yeah, it's it's a lot. So we talked about the the, the visual concepts for things. She has not only flashbacks, but her character who has her own thoughts. And so she was thinking about making panels and trying to color coat panels a certain way and having particular text changes, font changes for specific speaking or if it's another language, things like that, which I think are very clever. And um, again, it was this whole idea of it being very visual. So... All in all, like, my, my biggest goal really is to kind of overdo it in the places that I never thought I would overdo it. So it is rather <laughs> interesting to see me come this far. I'm quite proud of myself for where we have ended up. Um, so I'm pretty sure I'll be doing a great many of these logos uh, from here on out. But... <laughs> We'll put certain ones with certain parts of the story, depending on which ones they fit best with. So that's all I can say for that. So yes, this is the first iteration. Uh, once I think I what did we do? Six different six different like steps where I, I made alterations. So I think the sixth step is the actual first complete iteration, which will show up eventually here. Um, and I'm I am quite proud. I have not had to deal with logos or or lettering since college when we did our one class uh, to learn how to make a font in uh, Adobe Illustrator. It was probably really important now that I think about it because now, now I need these skills, but uh, at the same time, I'm not going to be creating an entire font face, thank God, but creating this, this interesting dynamic of having the different styles is really, really nice and I'm very glad that I, I finally got around to doing this so you know you're welcome also to say that um Elu secret secret Elu here we're kind of like we're not partners but we're really good partners as for like talking to each other about novel stuff but um yeah Elu is the very first fan that I have for my novel she has read the entire story in plot points, by the way. So it's a chapter and a few plot points uh, anywhere between two to six per chapter of the 50 whatever chapters. She has read the entire story. So someone out there has seen the whole story and she's my first fangirl. She really, really is pushing me to make this story. So <laughs> you may all say thank you, Elu. And uh, yeah, please show up in our, you know, dual streams and thank her personally. But yeah, I'm, I'm so proud of making my very first logo iteration. You know, I don't know if this particular one as is will stay, but... I do know that I'm going to start creating a lot of different ones just, just to create them and hopefully I'll keep them close at hand. But um, yeah, let's talk future. So what's next? I know, I know what indeed is next. So 
now that I am working on a maybe font for or logo for like the full full thing <laughs> this was kind of the first the first hurdle first hurdle is now at least I have put a toe in uh, second hurdle I need to recreate my map of Arion I have still yet to do that and that is a big important part of my uh, website page that I want to make so the website page will include a map uh, some information about characters and uh, it'll pretty much look like a portfolio of the story uh, but you guys will indeed get a whole first quote-unquote chapter it's not really a chapter it's a prologue so I will be at least giving you guys a prologue and then that will sit <laughs> for I don't know how long but I don't plan on the website page being available or ready until next year unfortunately so 2025 that's the plan uh it's a little bit ahead in case I get too busy but it's also really close in the case that like I need to actually sit and get things done but with the way of the pacing and everything that's happening around me I really think it's doable so just hope for that. And of course, as always, I need more support to be able to spend more time on these kinds of things. And um, I really hope that I can deliver on all of my promises that I have made for all these years. So enjoy the uh, journey. I really think that it, it really is about the journey. And this is quite the adventure for me. So again, thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next writer's log in, I don't know, a few more months. Thank you so much. <laughs> Goodbye.